Curious Margate is a collaboration between Turner Contemporary and the businesses of Margate as an extension of the exhibition Curiosity, Art and the Pleasures of Knowing. This idea influenced these businesses to create their own curious displays to get more people exploring Margate. This is a land rich in a history that dates back to the Stone Age. Since this time, Margate has seen more changes than most other places in the UK, creating an abundance of curiosities. One of the best places to experience these historical curiosities is at the town's museum. Here, individuals can get a feel of why Margate is England's earliest seaside resort, having entertained people for generations. the Tom Thumb Theatre was classified as the world's smallest theatre. We still regularly host a variety of entertainments such as stand-up comedy, music and dramatics which is always popular. Margate has crafted its own natural curiosities. Our Curious Margate display has been made by Paul Hazelton. His work is about myths and legends. You question whether what you're seeing has been found or made. That's got a little figure inside it made out of sand. I extraordinarily detailed. Beneath the display lies the Shell Grotto, with no known purpose of origin. A local shop has unlocked one of Margate's biggest secrets. The remains of a mythical creature found beneath its floors. We were clearing one of the spaces to make it a little bit more user friendly. Uh, lifted up a wood panel and, and found there was a really big hole in the ground. And looking down into the hole we could see a bit of debris, a bit of seaweed, shells. Taking a closer look into the caves beneath led to the discovery of a skeleton with a fish towel. Was this an actual mermaid? This is Margate's Curious Pizza, which we serve with a bottle of Curious Brew. It's curious because the pizza is always different. We find that when we put something new on the menu, it sells really well. The people of Margate are very adventurous. My display is based on um, stained glass windows, but filled with ideas of curiosities. Things that work with our cafe and our shops, but it's gonna be mixed in with odd things, which is the curiosity idea. We're going to draw glasses onto the window so people can look through and then they, they'll take pictures of each other with a funny moustache, so that's a fun element for kids. Well, I'm the Mad Hatter and I bought this cafe 17 years ago and I love antiques and I love Christmas and I like yellow. I like wearing a hat. 
thought, well, I'll be the Mad Hatter. So I called it the Mad Hatter, a theme, which is why I've got the hats everywhere. And, and I've always been very busy. Uh, when I first came here 17 years ago, there were two cafes, one on the seafront and me. Now there are lots and lots and lots. But people still love coming in here because it's totally unique. My object is an Indonesian wood carving. People do come in and say, oh, I like her. What is she and everything? I'd like to know a little bit more about her. I don't think she's valuable, but she is precious to me. It's an interesting object in the fact that people don't know what it is when they see it, so they immediately sort of like try to put it in a modern day context and other people think it might be for holding magazines or something like that. It's got a lot of history because the person that used it actually had to make the item to be able to do his job, so it's got a nice sort of like, you know, story behind it as well. Our curious display is a contemporary cabinet of curiosities. We actually came across some fantastic artwork, which are all about curious containers. Uh, the business is Turner Handle Traditional Toys. Claire makes automata. They're made from recycled bits and bobs that have been picked up on the streets of Cliftonville, other people's rubbish. Yeah, you turn the handle and they, they come to life. And they've all got a touch of humour involved in them. We've got a collection of curious, wonderful, weird and <laughs> wacky <laughs> items that we've gathered from our travels. It's kind of 12 different cubby holes and each one's been filled by somebody different. So but together it's a kind of really wacky collection of stuff. Curious display is based on the fact that Margate was originally a fishing port. Fitzy, the chap who actually created these fish for us, is an accomplished artist. I'll give you five squid for it. We thought we'd just create something that was curious in the form of something that we used to be known for, hence the comical fish. Well, seagulls have been part of the Thanet coastline for over 20 million years. Our display allows visitors to examine this prehistoric creature in extraordinary detail. The Tudor House is Thanet's oldest building and provides a fascinating insight into medieval life. Margate is still successfully trading as it has done for hundreds of years, only today in a more contemporary manner. The curiosity display we've gone for is basically old advertising it's for confectionery. It's quite quirky and, and fun. We're doing a shrimp, one of the old shrimp sweets milkshake. Um, it's really sweet, it's really popular with kids. <laughs> we try to link it in with the fossils that are at the turn of contemporary. I defy anyone to walk through Walpole's front door and not start reminiscing about their childhood. But there's a whole corridor of curiosities upstairs. People come in and they donate the most amazing objects. But the most curious thing of all only began in 2009, when our napkin art collection started by a chap called Curtis Tappenden, and he did a doodle on my linen napkin after dinner one evening. 
and he presented me with my napkin saying, this is my magical memory of staying in your magical hotel, Jane, thank you. Well, after I'd slapped his wrists for drawing on my napkin, we realised just what a work of art it was. And it's just grown and grown and captured our guest's imagination 